Hi everyone, in this video I talk about how to use truth trees to test a proposition or a single formula to see if it's a contradiction, tautology, or contingency. So first off, a contradiction is a proposition or formula if and only if that proposition is false under every interpretation. That is, no matter how we assign truth values to the propositional letters that compose that formula, that formula always comes out as false given the interpretation and valuation rules. A truth tree will show that a particular formula P is a contradiction if and only if the tree of the stack that consists of P determines a closed tree. The idea here is that if P determines a closed tree, then there's no interpretation which would make P true. That is, there's no way to recover an interpretation or assignment of truth values to the propositional letters that compose P that would make P true. And so if there's no interpretation that would make P true, then P is false under every interpretation. Then P is a contradiction. Next, a proposition P is a tautology if and only if P is true under every interpretation. A truth tree will show that P is a tautology if and only if a tree of the stack that consists of the literal negation of P determines a closed tree. The idea here is that if the literal negation of P determines a closed tree, then there's no interpretation where the literal negation of P is true. That is, there's no way to assign truth values to the propositional letters that compose negation P that would make P true. And so if there's no interpretation that would make negation P true, then what we know is that not P is false under every interpretation. That is, we know that negation P is a contradiction. And so if negation P is always false, then the removal of that negation, that is simply P, is true under every interpretation. That is, if not P is always false, then P must be true under every interpretation. And if we know that P is true under every interpretation, then we know that P is a tautology. And so, in order to test a proposition P to see if it's a tautology, we simply begin the tree with negation P, and if it determines a closed tree, then we know that P is a tautology. Finally, a, a proposition P is a contingency if and only if P is neither false under every interpretation nor true under every interpretation. In other words, a proposition P is a contingency if it's neither a contradiction nor a tautology. A truth tree will show that P is a contingency if and only if P does not determine a closed tree and the neg negation of P does not determine a closed tree. In other words, a truth tree shows that P is a contingency provided a truth tree test of P does not show P is a contradiction and provided P is not shown to be a tautology. In other words, if P does not determine a closed tree, then we know it's not a contradiction. And if we test not P to see if P is a tautology and not P doesn't yield a closed tree, then we know that it's not a tautology. And so if P is neither a contradiction nor a tautology, then we know that it's neither false under every interpretation nor true under every interpretation. And so we know that P is sometimes true and sometimes false given the interpretation assigned to it. And so we know that P is a contingency. So let's look at an example of how to make use of the truth tree test for contradiction, tautology, and contingency. We'll just pick an easy to work with example, but we can substitute the formula that we'll test here with any formula that provided it's a well-formed formula in the language of propositional logic. So let's ask, is P wedge Q a contradiction, tautology, or contingency? The first step would be to decide which one of the two truth tree tests we w wish to perform. We could test to see if P wedge Q is a contradiction or test to see if it's a tautology. If we're testing to see if it's a contradiction, we simply stack P wedge Q. If we're testing to see if it's a tautology, we stack the literal negation of P wedge Q, which is not P wedge Q. Let's test P wedge Q to see if it's a contradiction. The next step in the truth tree process would be to decompose the tree. We stacked P wedge Q and we've decomposed the tree. Once the tree is completely decomposed, if P wedge Q determines a closed tree, then we know that P wedge Q is a contradiction. If, however, 
p wedge q determines a completed open tree, then what we know is p wedge q is not a contradiction. If p wedge q is not a contradiction, then it is either a tautology or contingency. But we can't tell from the truth tree test which one of the two it is, and so we'll need to make use of another test. So again, we're gonna ask, is P wedge Q a contradiction, tautology, or contingency? We've already eliminated the possibility that it's a contradiction, and so it's either a tautology or contingency. So since we wanna test P wedge Q to see if it's a tautology, we'll stack negation P wedge Q. We'll decompose this truth tree. If the tree involving the stack negation P wedge Q determines a closed tree, then we know that P wedge Q is a tautology. If, however, P negation P wedge Q determines a completed open tree, then what we know is that P wedge Q is not a tautology. Here we see that the tree involving negation P wedge Q is not a tautology. Given our earlier test that shows that P wedge Q is not a contradiction, we now have two trees that show one, that P wedge Q is not a contradiction, and two, that P wedge Q is not a tautology. And so if neither P wedge Q nor negation P wedge Q determines a closed tree, then we know that P wedge Q is a contingency. Our two truth tree tests have shown that P wedge Q is not a contradiction and it's not a tautology, therefore P wedge Q is a contingency.